Hi, welcome to another episode of The Pipeline, the podcast where we like to showcase and display what top producer real estate business brokers and developers are doing in their market to dominate their area and become top producers and authority in the market. Today, I'm very excited to have our next guest. His name is Bill Barrett, owner and top broker of Luxury Home Consultants. He is a buyer-focused agency and dedicate to provide value and information to maybe new buyers in the market, especially in the Florida luxury market. I'm very excited to have him today. Welcome, Bill. Tell us a little bit more about you and what took you into the real estate world. Thanks, Carlos, for having me on the pipeline. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, gosh, I'll tell you, my my start in real estate, I was very, very young. I was, uh, I was working for a company as an intern uh, on the commercial end in uh, Rhode Island while I was going to college. And uh, I was basically a glorified number cruncher and was bored to tears with it. And, and one day the broker said to me, you need to go out with our top salesperson on the residential side because I think that might be more for you. And we went down and we uh, it was a young couple and I was with Martha. And Martha was, she was distinct and memorable, no doubt. And we got down to this house. I'll never forget. It was an older home. It was a very expensive older home on the water uh, down in Newport, Rhode Island. And this young couple was getting married and they had stars in their eyes. And uh, I got to this house and I uh, let them in. And then Martha did her her thing. And I'll, I'll never forget the young lady walked to the top of some stairs and she opened up a door and Martha says, wait, look, I can see this. You're holding a flute of champagne. Your hair is blowing back. And I thought to myself, this is residential real estate. I can do this. Actually, that's not what I said at all. I said, this is crazy. She is pressuring the heck out of these people. And this house is nothing but a bunch of termites holding hands. Somebody has got to say something or do something. But these kids, they were frightened to death because Martha was very aggressive. You know, you got to get back to the office. We got to sign the contract. And I thought, gosh, there's got to be a better way to do this in real estate. And when I graduated and I came down here to Florida, I was very young and, and I figured out quickly in real estate that, you know, when you're 21, 22 years old, nobody wants to give you a listing. You're just too young. So the good news is, is I didn't have much hair, so I perhaps looked a little older than I did. And uh, I decided that I was going to be a business that only represented buyers and buyers' best interest. And it was something that uh, took off for me 30 years ago, and the business has built, and uh, the book of business has, has been great. My, my return clients um, are the heart and soul of my business. That's that's an amazing story, Bill. Thank you so much for sharing that. And, you know, within 30 years of experience, there's so much that I want to ask you, right? The market has seen so many changes and, you, you know, you are, you you live through it and you, you succeeded in creating a real estate business through this luxury market. Now, some of the agents that are watching today are about to start their careers I want for them to know what Bill Byer, what, what were some of the best practices that you apply when starting to get more business, to put yourself out there and, and, and to grow your sales, you know, as an agent at the beginning? Well, well I think um, a couple of things. One, look at what everyone else is doing and then try to do something a little different. And two, you know, this business is... It's a great business to be in. It's I love it. It's it's almost become my hobby. I, I can't imagine life without doing what I do. Um, but when I hear people say that um, they can't uh, uh, they can't make an appointment or they can't get back to somebody, um, go do something else. This is not the business for you. This business is a commitment. Um, I think a lot of people are lured into the business for two reasons. One. Uh, there is a tremendous financial upside. And two, um, there's not a lot of barriers to entry with regards to education and, and whatnot. So it's, um, it's it's great for someone with an entrepreneurial spirit, spirit. but if you don't like to work, this business isn't for you. Um, 
There's no such thing as returning the phone call two days later. There's no such thing as uh, I'll do it tomorrow. People need, want, and deserve your best attention and your best work at all times. So that would be the advice that I would give. If you if you can't give 110% and you don't love it, um, there's other things to do. That's an awesome advice, Bill. And, you know, on our end, we are huge believers on technology and, you know, being today using this platform, which is YouTube and social media to put this content out there. I wanted to ask you as a business owner, uh, when was that moment where you decided to maybe take a look at digital and try to display your brand on the digital ecosystem? How, how, how did that work out for home luxury consultants? Well, I'll tell you what, um, I think it was about 1994, some guy came into my office and said, I have to tell you about this awesome thing. It's called the World Wide Web. And you're not going to do any more print advertising. In fact, 10 years from now, you won't do any. And he laughed and we made all sorts of web jokes, Spider-Man, whatnot. And uh, if he's watching right now, <laughs> you were right. Um, the internet has changed everything. And so the way my business evolved was with this core group of clients that kept referring business and referring business, and then they would be return clients. Um, but it got to the point where I had to do more to grow the company and, um, you know, keep production at a level that was, uh, you know, something that, uh, you know, get my interest in the business. So, um, and that's when I, I contacted Trem. I, I, uh, really was looking for somebody that was going to be able to work with me on more of a personal level because I had talked to other companies and worked with other companies and, you know, I would have a problem with the website and they would say, oh, great, we're going to give you a ticket. I'm going to ticket. What am I going to do with a ticket? The thing that I love about Trem is when I have a problem, I can text, I can pick up the phone, I get my people and the problem gets solved. No excuses, no garbage. And, and that's what my clients want from me. They don't want, they don't want to hear my problems. They want to hear what the solution is. Well, we appreciate that, uh, Bill. And before we, we dive in deeper, and I do have a, a few other questions for you. As a technology company, what we usually also go about is create, creating the infrastructure for your business to display itself on the, on the internet, right? It's an extension of your day-to-day -day business. And you have a lot of experience creating different websites and through many different providers. And, you know, you just mentioned about how important is the, the service side of it. But when it comes to the technology, how, how good has it been for uh, luxury home consultants to apply some of this technology automations to help with the communication of your clients? Has that impacted at all your day to day? Yes. And in, in fact, um, you know, if we're talking about uh, like IDX Boost, um, it's just, it's amazing. The control, the insight it gives you, um, you know, it's, it's just something that um, I think, um, I think it almost gives you an unfair advantage. Um, it's something that's worked great for me. And, and as I continue with the products, um, it's, it's doing nothing but, uh, you know, creating more and more um, viable clients for me. It's helping me, you know, I'm, as I learn to weed through the, you know, uh, the leads that aren't so strong and, and get to the, uh, you know, ones that need the immediate attention. Definitely, definitely, uh, you know, the tech helps narrow it down potential buyers and, you know, using the technology in the real estate business is something extremely important for us today. But now that I have you on the show, now that I have you on the pipeline, let me ask you something, Bill. For those agents that are joining real estate today, right? We talked about best practices and dedicated yourself to the business. But if you're a real estate agent that are that is joining the South Florida market today in 2022, what would be your first recommendation for them? What would you tell them to go do today that you wouldn't have maybe told them a few years ago? How do you see the market for a new agent? Um, from your perspective? Well, I, I, I'll tell you, the, the answer to that is I see what they need to do is the thing as a guy like myself that's a little bit older um, has a little bit more difficulty. And, and that is get 
the proper presence online and do it from the do it from the start. Uh, it will strengthen your brand. Uh, it will help you develop business. And I think that uh, you know at, at this point, that's all there is for you starting out. And, and of course, you know there's going to be good training. And, and I think that there's a lot of companies out there where you can get that. But if, as far as moving yourself forward, once you know what you're doing, the big challenge is going to be clients. And I think in the cycle of real estate that we're in right now, that's going to be the most important one. Well, um, now that we talked about the agents and best practices, I know that you're a big yacht aficionado and you do a lot of business on the waterfront luxury market on, on South Florida. And now that we're talking about the real estate, how do you see the market performing on, on your area? How do you see the transactions going? You know, what insight can you give us on, on your current real estate market? I think right now we're in a transitional time. We've gone from a time that uh, I never thought I would see, which is actually what I think I said in 2008, 2009, uh, to an extreme on the other end. I mean, the last 12 months I've seen, uh, gosh, uh, properties that are multi-million dollar properties uh, with multiple cash offers over asking and never in a million years that I think I would see that. But, you know, this the pendulum always swings both ways and right now it's starting to swing. Now, the thing that always underpins um, the success of our market here um, or the demand in our market, I should say, uh, is population growth. And that's what we have right now. We have positive population growth. Everyone wants to come here. It's beautiful. It's sunny. Uh, we've got low taxes. Uh, it's just um, it's filled with culture. It's a wonderful place to live. It's a wonderful place um, to get outside and enjoy everything that South Florida's got to offer. But um, I think that that will definitely slow. That What I see for the future is uh, a little bit more inventory. Um, I see a lot of buyers being taken out of the market by higher interest rates um, and a lot more cash transactions. That seems to be the uh, theme for uh, 2021 and, and going into 2022. Cash is king. Uh, that's very insightful. And thank you so much for that, Bill. And, you know, I want to thank you so much for being here. But before... Before we end today's podcast, I wanted to ask you, uh, for those who are just getting to know you, how can they find you? How can they reach out if there is anybody that needs assistance or consultants on your market? What are the best ways to reach out to your team? Without a question, uh, you know, feel free to pick up the phone the old-fashioned way and call me directly uh, or through the website uh, www.luxuryhomeconsultants.com. That's great. And we'll, we'll include that in the description just for anybody that may want to reach out and connect with you on a personal level, they will do so. On our side, Bill, thank you so much for taking the time today and meeting with me and sharing all of this knowledge with our viewers because after all, what we want them is to know how top producers in very competitive markets are doing to succeed and what your experience has been. So again, Bill, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I can wait. Hopefully we can do this again soon. All right. Thanks a lot, Carlos. I really appreciate it. My best to the team.